Okay, so let's export this frame. Go to Photoshop, open it up, drag, drop. Hope for the best here. Grab the lasso tool, highlight your area, and see whatever it wants to do. Oh, sorry there. Right click, and then go ahead and select generative fill. No prompt here, I'm gonna just go for it. Again, sometimes this works beautiful, sometimes it doesn't work, you know, name of the game. That's pretty cool, I think I'll leave it like that. I'm assuming it'll do something similar to this side, hopefully. That is pretty cool. This worked out a lot better um, than trying to do stuff that's moving. Because again, if it's moving, you're gonna have to track it. Um, so if you're at, trying to add something to the background, that'll be cool. Um, I'm gonna try this again to see maybe it'll extend this green screen. That'd be really um, slick. That's cool. Okay, let's go ahead and save that. File, save. Uh, flatten the image first, sorry. Flatten image. File, save, replace. Okay. Go back to Premiere Pro. Let's go ahead and drag and drop that onto the timeline. If I just drag this to the beginning, it's going to just be a still image, of course. Um, we don't want the still image just on top because, you know, it's a video. So we're going to drag this over the still image essentially and um, the first thing we're gonna do is zoom in here and basically you want to delete because they're working in layers you want to delete some of the top layers so the sides of the top layer to reveal the layer underneath which happens to be the extended green screen background let's do this a little bit differently we're gonna drag this clip up now it's just a still image that's okay um, let's go back here delete the mask and instead of doing it the way I wanted to do it we're just gonna mask this main part to reveal the clip if that makes sense so let's click on this mask Cool, so let's go ahead and click off that mask. Here's how it looks. I'm gonna go ahead and add some color to this because for some reason I can't see without color. Always have to see what it looks like with color. Cool, so this is how it looks like. This is the final product. Um, actually not the final product yet. Let's go ahead and add some more contrast. Oh, let's go ahead and see how that looks. Let's play it back here. Um, full screen there's a little square there that I probably might get rid of well, let's see how that looks so it looks pretty real um, again it took some playing around with to see what you want um, a lot of its leaving it up to AI to generate you a nice background but this is kind of a big example um, Say you were doing a video uh, tutorial or something and you had, I don't know, a mess in the background in like the upper left corner. You could just circle it, generative fill, and then it's gone, um, which is pretty revolutionary. Um, I wish they implemented this tool in Premiere Pro itself, but we haven't seen it yet, I don't think. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add a little more color. Cool, and that's the finished product right there. Um, last thing I'm gonna add is some sharpening for the fun of it. Then we're gonna export this, and you guys are gonna use it, it's hopefully a reference. You have to really think about it too, what you want, so you know what to delete and remove in the layers. All right, guys, let's go ahead and cut it there.